This is my 26th year as a camera assistant. I can remember the days before ATMs on the lot at the commissary, no cell phones, smoking on stage, and ashtrays on the dolly. Seems unbelievable now. When I was a second assistant cameraman, I used a chalk slate. Most cameras had a fixed eyepiece, and no camera had a video tap. The director, cinematographer, and script supervisor were all near the camera watching the scene. And after the director said cut, the operator and assistant were asked if they got the shot. Filmmaking technology has come a long way since I started, and I would like to say, as a camera assistant, having video assist and onboard monitors has made a huge positive impact on my job performance. Even these technologies have evolved over the years. The first video tap that I worked with had a black and white image that flickered and was dark. And the first onboard monitors were three inch tubes and must have weighed at least five pounds. They were so bulky and heavy, we tried to have them on the camera only when we had to. As a result, it forced us to rebalance the camera on the head every time we did. They did the job back then, but we have certainly come a long way. Video tap images got better, became flicker free, color replaced black and white, and brighter images were now possible. But onboard monitors did not change dramatically until Transvideo rainbow monitors came on the scene. I have come to view my monitor as an extremely useful tool, not just for its benefit to me, but to every department on the set. I remember when I brought it to the set for the first time. The cinematographer Kenneth Zunder was very impressed by the beautiful image quality. Transvideo monitors were able to replace the monitors before theirs by providing a larger, brighter, lighter weight system that could be viewed easily from virtually any angle and under any lighting conditions. These Transvideo monitors have truly revolutionized how we cameramen work and I am grateful to them for making it possible.